You did full combo. Full Raid Raptor car. You got shit on by Shield Wing. I will literally perma ban you if you're playing prank kids. Ah, yes, Draco. What is this? Tenyi generator? All right, sub terror outing a single baguska. How? Challenge. Let's see. Let's let's see if they can do it. Um, oh, this isn't Guru, by the way. This is pure sub terror. Uh, fun fact: this is actually just pure sub terror. No Guru. Right, we got Nemesis Warrior here. Duster. That's rough. Been this negate. This is how they intended sub terror to play. Yes. Now we get to trigger the Stega penis or something from the hand here. Still can't play through this Baguska, but we top deck a sub terror succession. I don't know what that does or if anyone plays that card, but it's got Guru on the artwork, so it's probably good. All right, that's the last turn of Baboska. Did you just pass? Well, it's time to play. Wait, you're passing again? Ah, I miss old Yu Gi Oh! Did you get, did you get, did you get, uh, Baboska dies. So last week we watched progression series of LOB format. It's pretty much what we're watching right now is LOB format. Gozen match. Uh, that's pretty good against Tenyis, I think. Each one of them is a different attribute, right? It's like the theme and shit. Oh, we got Vishuda in the hand, though, based. And we're gonna chain succession to Nahata. Or Shatana, I think. Whatever. Uh, succession. Okay, what does this do? It pitches a sub terror and then adds Maxi? What? What does this card do? Send a flip monster from your hand to grave, and if you do add a monster from your deck with the same attribute but a lower level. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Okay! <laughs> That's why we're playing Succession. Because <laughs> we can add Max Z. <laughs> Alright. Well, right now it's just an upstart goblin. Here is uh, Draco, Master of the Tenyi. Which, uh, I don't know what it does, but we're negating it. Seems like a dangerous card. Yep, setting our boy here. Battle phase, we're going to attack the set here. Negate with Hidden Shitty. And pass! Okay, great. Well... So you traded for Upstart Goblin. Great. Awesome. There's Succession. We're gonna send a Flip Monster to add Guru. Wait, you do play Guru? Oh, that's cheating. That's cheating. You can't play Guru. That's cheating. Alright, we're gonna re resolve Stalagamo, which... What the fuck? Is that D-Draw? <laughs> How did Konami make a card that's slower than a card printed in 2008? Like, the Teladad spell card from 12 years ago is, like, better than this. Because this is, like, a level 10 flip monster. Like, how? It's just worse. <laughs> Alright, Link 2 into Subterror Behemoth Fiend. We're actually doing a Link Summon in Subterrors. Why is it so big? No one knows. But dr apparently Draco Masters can't be destroyed by effect monsters. So, uh, I guess we've got that going for us. Main phase, Juan. We're gonna try use Draco Master again. What the fuck? It just destroys a card? Okay. Uh, end phase, we're gonna succession and add Guru. Alright. It will definitely work this time. It didn't work last time, but this time it's gonna work. Instant fusion. That has to be good. Thousand Eye Restrict. I told you, we're just playing LOB format. Like, <laughs> Reggie just took a time capsule into fucking goats. Like, look at him. Oh, wow, we can... Look, 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 you can flip summon because you use Hidden City. Oh my god, he's booking the Thunder Eyes! You're actually playing GOATS! This is like GOAT sub-terror! Oh my god. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> Alright, final battle. Uh, bring back a dude and battle phase. Very cool. Amazing. Yep. Just a glorified Sukiyomi. <laughs> we almost got Nibiru, though, so, you know. Alright, can we do anything here? No, it's over. How? How? You should flip the Thousand Eye Restrict just for the BM. Nope, it's final blow. Well, if that isn't a base sub-terror deck, then I don't know what is. Oh my god, are we playing Rady Shadies? Alright, we got Tribute Lanius, activating Kage Togage, sending a Mimicry. Mimicry, up, Mimicry about it adds a Raid Raptor Nest here. We're going to overlay it into four Strix. Orstrix gets to search a copy of Singing Lanius. Activate Singing Lanius. Now we get to use Nest here, which adds a Raid Raptor when we control two Raid Raptors. We're going to add Heal Eagle. Okay. We're going to special it, I suppose, and make it into Y Strix fodder. Y Strix effect is going to go into Zephros. Special summoning Bora. 
Why don't we play? Why don't we play? Adding Crackhead? We really out here playing Raid Raptor Black Wings. Just the full engine, huh? Okay. Uh, now we're gonna summon Crackhead. And we're gonna link three into Bardish. You sent Shave Force, didn't you? Are we not gonna make Crystal Wing? Sorry, uh, Infinity. All right, we're sending Magic Force here. Third four tricks of the game, I believe. Okay, adding Strangle Lanius. Raider's Wing detached to Special Summon. I guess we're gonna make Utopia now. We are indeed gonna make Utopia F0. And now we're gonna make Utopia Draco Future. And Shave Force. I don't know, why didn't we do this before? Did it lock you or something? You had like the third one in the grave, didn't you? Well, there's Infinity. Now we get to special summon Strangle Lanius. We control, we control an Xe monster with uh, Dark Xe as a material. We get to special summon, I believe. Gonna go into Raider's Knight. Activate Infinity, giving the Mimic Cry about it. The suck here. We're gonna set three and pass. All right, what do we got here? Draw phase, main phase. When the Golem is lava. <laughs> Chain ma Maxi on resolution. Duster! <laughs> wow, we got Lava Golem Duster, huh? Okay. Uh, Monka W. So, we're gonna go Magic Force, ranking up Raider's Knight, banishing... How many fucking darks is that? Was that like five? What are we summoning here? Ultimate Falcon! Alright, out my Ultimate Falcon, idiot. Uh, gonna set one pass, very well. Burn for a thousand. Uh, but we're now we're gonna burn for a thousand, so that's a little bit yikes. <laughs> now we're down to 28. We did pay half of our life points for a Shave Force. Uh... As a as a as a as a hairy uh, man, I can promise you that Gillette is definitely not the ma the best you can get right now. Uh, Bard each set go into uh, Raider's nest. You're going to Judgment Raid Raptor nest? There's really nothing else for you to Judgment. You get a Judgment nest. Final blow. Battle Fader. All right, main phase Zvi. Special summon Raider's wing. And now we're going to link into another Y Strix. Okay, do you want to pay some more life points, buddy? Here's a Mimic Cry about it in defense. And Ultimate Falcon and Y Strix are doing something in the end phase. Apparently nothing. Okay, pass. What do we got here? What can we do? What can we do? We're going to set and set. Another burn for a thousand, it looks like. Nope, we're not burning, actually. Never mind. All right, draw phase. Chalice, Lava Golem, trigger, stab me. Go to Chalice, our old Lava Golem. <laughs> 28 life points is a lot, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we could die soon. We could die soon. All right, how are you getting out of this? Main phase, Juan. We're going to go battle phase. We're going to attack the... Um... <laughs> Shield wing. <laughs> Twice per turn. This cannot be destroyed by battle. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you just got shield winged. <laughs> 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 yeah, imagine we had Chalice on the shield wing. <laughs> you would have won. <laughs> All right, we got Zoma the Spirit in the end phase. Uh, what can we do here? What can we do here? Oh my god. <laughs> no way. Battle phase attack Lava Golem with Zoma the Spirit. Activate Fog Blade. Take 1200. Zoma the Spirit effect burn for 3000. <laughs> 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 You really did- you did full combo! Full Raid Raptor combo! You got shit on! By Shield Wing! <laughs> uh, Witchcrafters versus Generator with double Hella and, uh, frickin' Har in the hand. That doesn't look good. We got Mardell to search for boss quests, so I mean, that's really all we need here. Oh, no, that's Droll and Lockbird. We can't get to the boss stage. That's unfortunate. All right, what have we got here? Main phase, Juan. We're going to go Pot of Extravagance. We're going to draw two. We're going to go Schmitta. Schmitta effect, pitch, tribute, cost, special summon, chain maximum, Cox. We're going to use Called by the Grave here. We're not going to Called by Maxi. I guess we feel like Vera Pass is worth it for the upstart anyway. Big, big, big balls here. Okay, very well. Okay, we're not even gonna set the call by. Do you... Have you forgot that it's not in your hand? Like, hello? Maybe he just wants spells to reveal with the Vera. All right, Dyer's gonna go boss quest, revealing Hela. Uh, I would love to see Hela get revealed to me. You know what I'm saying? Normal summon Alistair. Oh boy, she's on a tear today. Uh, Madam Vera, negate the Alistair. Uh, Madam Verte Anaconda, negate Alistair. Is it good enough? Haha, <laughs> we got boss stage, baby. Set two. Don't need anything else. 
All right, draw phase. Dun, dun, dun. Your turn, our turn. Boss stage trigger, special summoning because a card was added from our opponent's deck to the hand. Special summoning Dovelgas, the generator, into two tokens, tributing to special summon Har from the hand here. Now we're going to go main phase Juan, normal summon Patori. Divine uh, Dogmatica Punishment, pop Patori. Chaining Patori, that's a quick effect? Oh, nay, you didn't read. Oh, nay. Summoning a hollow Starlight Haney. Oh, you are simping for this deck, my friend. I agree, though. I'm, I'm with you. We're just going to attack pass. Wow, this deck is something. <laughs> All right, we're going to go plus like three in the end phase. Took a while, but we got there in the end. Uh, draw phase, we're going to see an imperm off the top. We're going to go put everything into attack mode. We're going to go battle phase, attacking over the uh, Madam Verte Anaconda. But we're going to use Har to negate the Aruru in the hand. And then chain Madam Vera to negate the Har. And then we're going to chain link for boss room, which I think the effect changes to draw two or something. Or each player draws one. And we're going to chain link five Haney to pop... The Har! Now, boss room triggers. I think it doesn't resolve. Oh, no. They both draw one. Now the Aruru gets negated. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Boss stage triggers. Summoning a Lopter, though. That's pretty bad. End of main phase. Lopter. Tribute. Special summoning Utgarda. And uh, set pass here. And now we're going to draw for turn. We t pick up a Patronius. Boss stage triggers. Summoning Har. Now we're going to get three tokens here. Omni negate. To deal with the Har. We have Call by the Grave. Maybe we're finally going to use Call by the Grave to negate Har here. We'll see. We're going to go Normal Summon Jenny. Jenny Tribute Pitch Special Summon into Adele. Jenny Effect. Banish in the Grave. Copy the effect or something or attack twice, I believe. Attacking over the token. Utgarda activates the effect to Banish. Using the effect of Madame Verte Anaconda to negate the uh, generator uh, fucking guy. We're going to chain Boss Room to swap the attack or the uh, the effect into both players draw one. Then we're going to chain Haney, pitching the call by the grave, to pop the uh, Har. And there we go. Fat chains. Main phase, Zvi. Pass, turn, end phase. We're going to get the Witchcraft spells back to our hand here. We got Creation. We got Unveiling. Any more? I think we have one more, right? Nope, that's it. Okay. Verte Anaconda is going to be able to negate lots. That's fine. Uh, main phase, Juan. We're going to activate Invocation. Invocation chained by Petronius. What is that going to do? Something, something, Banish Pile. All right. Petronius resolves doing what? Puts Haney back into the deck and then adds Holiday. Sure. Invocation, Banishing Aruru and Alistair. Going to summon the big machine himself, Machaba. Now we're going to go boss stage because we added a card here to special summon Hella. Hella, gonna tribute herself to special summon Har, back to the field here. And now Invocation restores Alistair back to the hand. We still got this boss room on the field, by the way. Didn't even realize it was continuous, my god. Uh, Utgarda into attack mode, battle phase, activating the effect of Adele, which I think pitches to special or something. Putting Schmidt on the field here, Madame Verte Anaconda to gain, uh, boosting with the Alistair, activating Vera, chaining hard to negate, tribute, and destroy Vera. Is this Vera been here since turn one? After six turns, can we out Vera? We still can't deal with Vera! Damn, I She stands Vera strong! Pendulum. Mommy's on the field. All right. Uh, end of main, we're going to Haney tribute, uh, special summon out the deck with the Schmetta. Draw for turn here. We're picking up an extravagance. That's big. Chaining Petronius to the boss stage, returning Aruru from the banish pile. Um, and getting a draping here. And now boss stage triggers. Special summoning Har back once again. <laughs> and, uh, getting three tokens. All right. Got to play through an Omni Negate once again. Main phase Juan here. Going to activate Pot of Extravagante. How are we going to negate? We're not going to negate with Har? Chaining Har here. Send, make your opponent send a card for their hand to the field. When a card affects the activated tribute to generators to negate. And it looks like we're going by big fat chain link four five every single turn to stop Har. There's Makaba. Finally, is it going to negate and banish Vera? Chain Haney pitching the secret village to pop the Makaba. Is it finally, finally time? Chain Emperor! <laughs> chain link seven! Woo! Chain link seven! <laughs> we got there. Almost at double digits. Okay, very cool. Madam Vera finally outed and dealt with. It only took eight turns, but she's gone. And, uh, yep, hard tributes to, spe to negate. Um, I think Schmitta banishes to send a spell here. Holiday activates. I think that's the Reborn. Brings back Haney. And battle phase. Gonna attack over the token here. Deal some damage. Pass turn. End phase. Do we get some cards back? Yep, we're gonna get creation. And we're gonna get by street back onto the field. 
and scroll back onto the field. Unveiling back into the hand. And one more? Oh, wow. We just went plus freaking five in the end phase. Very cool. All right. Uh, terraforming. Gonna pick up a meltdown, maybe? Chaining Petronius here. Oh, I think this is time to use Haney. <gasps> you fool! Got a card in the hand here. Haney chain, sending the by street from the field to pop the Machaba. Not going to hard negate because we don't have enough tokens or generator monsters. Uh, Ver Madame Vera has been restored, adding Holiday with the Petronius. And there is a meltdown. Nothing to stop Alistair here. Uh, we're gonna activate Har here, chain boss stage. Uh, I think boss stage because the card was added from the deck to the hands here. We get the special summon Utgarda. Har uh, does negate the Haney? Wait, how did you do that? I'm confused. Anyway, Meltdown. Here's Alistair. Add Invocation. It's time to normal Shokan. And here we go. Battle phase. Birdie out of Conda. We're actually going to summon it. What are we summoning? What are you actually summoning? Banishing Wind and Alistair. We're going to make Ragin. <laughs> I'm pure Ragin. Birdie Anaconda sending who? Racist Neos! He's here! Wait, no, it's Rainbow Neos. Damn, Wait, that's Rainbow Neos! Neos! Shuffling away the entire graveyard. That should probably, hopefully, be game, I think. There it is, dude. Starting off with the Bernie, the Raijin, and the Har. Final blow! Neos! Damage step, Alistair! 55. Now, that was a duel. <laughs> Jesus, that was a duel. You guys had a game of Yu-Gi-Oh! That was a fucking good duel. <laughs>